In this lesson, we are going to go ahead and create our first product mockup. So to do that, we need to download a template and we are going to get our template file from Adobe themselves because Adobe actually offers a lot of stock images and assets for us to use within our projects. So here I have the Creative Cloud application open and you will find this program whenever you download any Creative Cloud products such as Photoshop. So go ahead and find the application, open it up and click on assets and then click on the search bar and we can type in mockups here. When I do that, you will see a bunch of different types of mockups that we can actually use. Everything from letters to envelopes, monitors, packages, iPhones, billboards, CDs, all kinds of different things. So this is a great resource for finding these product mockups within Photoshop themselves. I want to use an iPad mockup for this uh, lesson here. So I'm going to type that in, iPad mockup. You can see a bunch of different ones. And if we scroll down, I'm going to be using the iPad cover mockup here. So I'll left click that. You can see the information. It's two megabytes and it's a PSD file. That's very important because we want to be able to edit the Photoshop file and a PSD file is a Photoshop file. If it's a JPG, that is an image file and won't really let us do what we're trying to do here. If it's an AI file, that's an Adobe Illustrator file, and you'll also need that program to do the edit. So make sure if you're using any of these mockups for this course that you are using the PSD files. Go ahead and click the download button, and I've actually already downloaded this one. It took me about five minutes. It may be quicker or slower depending on your machine, so I won't make you watch that. I already have it downloaded. Let's go ahead and back up. We're gonna grab another one that we're going to use in the next lesson. So let's type in book mockup. We'll go ahead and get this now. And we're going to be using the hardcover book mockup here. So I'm going to left click on that. And this is a much larger file, 56 megabytes. Just took a lot longer to download. I'm going to hit download. You'll see it say syncing at the bottom, which basically means it's downloading it and putting it into your Adobe library for use. Once you download it and sync it, it will always be there for you to grab. So you can download a bunch of these and have them ready to go anytime you open Photoshop. So go ahead and download those now, but I'm going to exit this program and I'm gonna come into Photoshop and if we select libraries in the welcome screen and I select my library, once it is downloaded and synced, you will see those over here on the right hand side. So I'm gonna right click on the iPad cover mockup and select edit. And that is going to open that file up for me so that we can edit and create our first product mockup. Now in the bottom right hand corner we have our layers. So I'm going to go ahead and select on the arrow next to the folder so that we can see all the different layers. So we have the background which is the iPad and then we have the blue box which is the actual um, what we will be using for clipping mask just like we did in the previous lecture. So let's go ahead and open up our image. I'm going to go File, Open, and select Image, Jeremy Deegan Website. And just like before, I want to move this into our current project. So I'm going to go to this layer, left click, hold down, and drag. So I have it in my hand here. I'm going to go over the iPad cover mockup.psd until it opens. And then I'm going to come into the document and release, and it will drop it in there for me. Now you want to make sure that this layer is within the iPad mini group so it's actually underneath that folder not outside of it and that it is above the click to edit layer because as you remember before we want our clipping mask um, object to be below our actual image and that's what we have going on here so I'm going to go to layer one I'm gonna right click on it and select create clipping mask and now it has clipped it into that image of that iPad for me. So this is great. This is very easy. I can do this with any of those product mockups that you saw uh, earlier within the templates uh, resources section of the Adobe Creative Cloud application. Now this doesn't look right because of course it's not filling up the whole iPad like we want it to and the perspective is off because this is a 3D object but we're looking at this image straight on. So we need to correct that. So to do that, I'm going to make sure that that layer is selected. I'm going to go to Edit, Transform, and select Distort. 
because distort will actually allow me to grab the handles and move the perspective exactly where I need it to be. So select distort. I'm going to go to the top left handle, left click and drag that and move that into the top left corner of this iPad mini. A little off, let me adjust there. Okay, then go to the top right, grab that one, move it to the top right, and it actually snapped it once it found that information, which is really nice. Bottom right, and bottom left. And I may need to mess around with these just a little bit to get it look just right here and you, you probably want to zoom in and, and be pretty accurate with this as you're editing these to make sure that it looks really good because you don't want it to look too distorted so um, you know when when doing these for actual product I would take my time I would zoom in and really get these edits looking great but this is good enough for this tutorial so I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter and as you can see, it has dropped that image into that iPad. So now it looks like someone is viewing that iPad. And I could go ahead and uh, save out this image, upload it to my website, or I could give it to someone to say, hey, this is what I want my website to look like, and this is how I want it to look on this iPad. So this is a, a very simple product mock-up that we used just by using a clipping mask and uh, perspective techniques. We actually used the distort tool but it was to change the perspective of the image. And that is as simple as it gets right there.